Hi guys, welcome to again to my channel. My name is uh, Mandasa, and uh, today I'm gonna be show you uh, how to scale the dynamic bass shear octane from the response spectrum based on the European and Ethiopian uh, building uh, code of standard. This uh, tuning history uh, building. Uh, so in the previous tutorial, I have already shown you the uh, uh, detail. Uh, uh, designing of uh, uh, foundation of uh, the uh, high rise and uh, the low rise uh, building structure based on the Ethiopian building code of standard and the European building code of standard. So, if you are a new member of this channel, don't forget to subscribe the channel. And if you subscribe the channel, you will be getting a more relevant tutorials so which have already been prepared. Uh, which uh, uh, reference to the detailed designing of uh, the uh, high-rise uh, building structure based on the Ethiopian and European building uh, code of standard. So if you are also a member of my channel, uh, don't uh, forget sharing all my videos to your friends so that your friends will be getting more uh, relevant tutorials uh, which have already been prepared uh, based on the Ethiopian and European building code of uh, standard for uh, building and steel structure. And don't forget also uh, uh, pressing the bell icon for receiving an immediate uploaded videos. And if you have also questions and comments regarding to the uh, structure design of uh, concrete and uh, steel structure, so uh, just providing me uh, your uh, uh, questions and uh, comments in my comment box so that I will be uh, trying to answer your uh, questions and uh, your comments as much as possible within a shorter period of time. So uh, we'll continue the today's tutorial which is uh, tutorial part 29 which will be focusing on the scaling of dynamic shear obtained from the response spectrum. Uh, so uh, now let's proceed to uh, the model that uh, we uh, have already uh, modeled before. So here, this is uh, 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 let me show uh, all the uh, the model here. This is uh, uh, the uh, analyzed the tuning story building. Uh, based on the uh, different load cases and the load combination as per the Ethiopian and European building code of standard. So uh, here, uh, just as uh, I have already uh, run the dynamic and the, uh, the static load cases, uh, so uh, I need to uh, uh, scale the uh, dynamic base here with reference to the uh, static base here uh, in order to uh, obtain uh, the uh, final reactions that are going to be used for the uh, design of foundation. So to do this uh, just to go to the, uh, the uh, just to go to the, uh, the table menu here and, it, and then, then, then uh, go to the reaction button here and the base reaction. So just to click the base reaction in order to Obtain uh, the uh, static and the dynamic measure. Let's go like this one. So just after uh, uh, just clicking here, the base reactions uh, results are displayed here. Uh, so uh, uh, I need to select uh, the the base here that I'm going to scale. So here I just uh, I will uh, scale the uh, dynamic measure with reference to the static measure. So just select all the static bits here, here, just X plus X in a Y direction, and also a Q in Y. So there is one left here. And here just uh, a Q X in negative direction. So it all those are the static bits here, so results. And uh, I need to select also the base here obtained from the response spectrum analysis here. That is the dynamic analysis here. Just I need to select all the maximum value. Uh, so just here uh, the results are uh, listed here. So I need to export it.
x exported to xn. So, you know, the results are exported to here. Uh, so, uh, as I have already uh, scaled the uh, dynamic base here uh, previously, that is why all the results are similar here. Uh, the base here in x direction uh, for uh, static cases uh, is highlighted just like this. And the best here uh, uh, in dynamic load uh, 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 cases is uh, just highlighted here. Uh, this one. So here, all uh, the the best here obtained uh, from the static uh, analysis in x positive direction should match uh, with the uh, best here uh, obtained from the dynamic analysis in similar direction, and similarly also in x direction. The base you obtained uh, from uh, the static analysis in negative x direction should match uh, with uh, the base here uh, obtained from the dynamic analysis in uh, x negative direction. And also in similar way, in uh, y direction also, here the base here obtained from uh, the uh, uh, the base here obtained from the a static analysis in y positive direction should match with the best year obtained from the response spectrum analysis or the dynamic analysis in a similar direction. Uh, and also, similarly, here uh, the best year obtained from the uh, uh, in y negative direction uh, based on the uh, dynamic, uh, based on the static analysis. I should match uh, with the base here obtained from the dynamic analysis in y negative direction, this one. So, here, uh, uh, when we see all the results are uh, closely uh, matched to each other. So, here, this is 4048.99, and this one is 4048.6043. So, most of those are uh, similar. So, uh, the, uh, based on the UBC or the uh, uh, International Building Standard, the base here obtained from the response spectrum should uh, uh, be at least equal to 80% uh, of the base here obtained from the uh, static analysis. So, in this case, almost uh, the uh, two results are uh, similar. And here, when we come to here also, the uh, two results are. Uh, similar. Uh, so before uh, just scaling uh, the uh, the dynamic uh, base here, uh, here just uh, I have such results. <coughs> here just before scaling, uh, before scaling the base here, just I have already this uh, results. Uh, so uh, this is before scaling. And this one is after scaling. So this one is after scaling, and this one is before scaling. So, in order to uh, calculate the square factor uh, for the base shear, uh, we need to uh, calculate the ratio of the base shear of the static base shear to that of the dynamic base shear. That means the scale factor equals to static base shear over dynamic base shear with the respective direction. So SFX means the the static the scale factor of the base shear in x direction equals to the static base shear in y in x direction. This one is I'm sorry in x direction. This one is in x direction over uh, the dynamic base shear uh, in x direction. So when I collect this one that means the ratio of uh, this that is eqx positive over over rsx positive so the ratio becomes that is 0 0.8361 this is the scale factor and when we come to in y direction also in similar way we can calculate the scale factor uh, of, of the base here that means sf uh, in y direction is equal to the static base here y over dynamic base here y. So we provide this 0 0.7791. So just this is the absolute value.
and when it comes to also here this one just I need to make it an absolute value so here the scale factor is it is 0 0.77909 and the above is 0 0.83608 so just go to the model and just go to the the load case and go to the response spectrum load case here. that is a race x positive and go to the modify uh, menu here so here in the previous uh, tutorial, no, let, let, let me show. Here previously it was 9806.65. So when I uh, just uh, uh, multiplied it with the scale factor, that means in uh, 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 with uh, here, uh, j j just I am selecting in x direction. So this one is in x direction. Oh, sorry. Here, this one is in x direction. U1 is that is uh, the x direction, and U2 uh, is in y direction. So I'm just uh, scaling the base here uh, in x direction. So when I multiply this one with the scale factor that I have already calculated before, get this one 0 0.8. Now let me let me copy it. Copy this one. Just go to the this model and just paste it. So when I multiply this one, uh, I will uh, be obtained 8200 point. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This one is in exit direction. I have already copied. There is, yes, yes, I just am correct. Okay, now here, uh, when uh, uh, I uh, enter it, I will obtain this result. This one which is almost similar, that is 8199.15, which is uh, 8200. So, uh, uh, just after uh, uh, scaling uh, the uh, uh, the dynamic base here, I will uh, run again the model and obtain the, the results here. Do you see those results here? That is 40, 48.99, 40, 40, 48.99. So this result is much to be this one. Almost they are the same. Uh, that is 4071 and 4000. Uh, 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 this one, sorry. That is uh, 4048 and 4071. Almost they are uh, closely, uh, you know equal and when uh, I check also in x direction that is 40 48 40 48 which is the same so in this way uh, we can uh, just uh, scale the the patient now I will delete this one because I have already uh, scaled it before so just no need of scaling it again but uh, if you uh, 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 didn't uh, uh, scale uh, your model uh, before, so you need to scale it again. Okay, thank you very much uh, for uh, watching uh, my tutorial. Uh, so, uh, if you are uh, a new member for this channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you subscribe uh, uh, my channel, you will be getting more and more relevant uh, tutorials. Uh, that uh, I have already uh, prepared with a reference to the uh, designing of high rise building based on the Ethiopian and the European building code of standard. And if you are also a member of my channel, don't forget sharing all my videos to your friends so that your friends will be getting more relevant to materials so that I've already prepared uh, before with a reference to the high rise buildings based on the Ethiopian and European building code of standard. And don't also forget pressing the bell icon uh, uh, so that you will be uh, receiving a notification during the uploading of uh, new videos. So uh, this is all about for today's tutorial, which is tutorial part 29, uh, focusing on the scaling of base here, uh, based on the Ethiopian uh, and European building code of standard. See you next time. Bye-bye.